building in Roatan, Honduras, joining the expat life. I'm an American that lives part of the year in Colorado, part of the year in Roatan, Honduras. I'm doing my second build. And the thing that I did wrong the first time, I limited myself to people that were more familiar. So I ended up hiring more Americans. I hired more people that spoke English and I let the language barrier be a huge, well, it ended up being a huge burden and caused me a lot of issues if I had just taken the time to get out of my comfort zone at the beginning, because once again, I'm not living in the United States of America. Why on earth am I not hiring locals just because I can't speak the local language, which is completely on to me. And so hiring a translator, hiring a go-between has been a game changer because now the team that I have now, I, Try to think. I think everyone is 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 local, is is a native Honduran, and I do have a couple Americans and Canadians working with me on other things. But the base team, they're all local, and uh, like my architect right now doesn't speak much English, doesn't, and I don't speak much Spanish. So I have a go between, and she's the, one of the best architects that I've ever worked with, and she's absolutely amazing, doing so much. I mean, it's, it's night and day from my first build to my current build. And the thing is, I needed to get out of my comfort zone at the beginning and just deal with the fact that I don't speak Spanish. That's, that's okay. Get someone who can, and so they can be the go-between and it will, and so then you don't lose that local knowledge that that's why you need. Why would you go to a foreign country and then hire people from your original country? They, they don't have the experience that's needed.